necks, right? Uterus and necks. Okay, I'm ready. Welcome back, New Hope family. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about that second really important step in terms of getting you pregnant. Remember, just to recap, the first step was to get a good embryo. And the way we do that is a really good stimulation. And we make sure that the genetic testing passes through what we call NICS or the non-invasive version. But now we're going to work on that second step. We're going to try to get a really good endometrial cavity to develop so that the cavity and the womb can support that pregnancy. All right, so the endometrial cavity is super important. That's going to be the place that the embryo is going to land eventually, implant, and really develop a good blood supply. So we want to make sure that the endometrial cavity is perfect and in a really pristine point before we put that embryo in. And that means that we want to look at two things. First, we want to make sure that the lining is good. And second, we want to make sure that there's nothing inside that would interfere with an embryo like a polyp or like a fibroid. In order to have the lining get thick, we want to typically give you some form of estrogen, or we can give you your own natural estrogen, which is called a natural cycle. And then the most important thing now is going to be to look inside the cavity and evaluate that cavity to make sure that there isn't any kind of pathology inside, like I mentioned before. So cavity evaluations can happen multiple ways, but probably the most common way is to do either a saline infused sonogram. Sometimes we call those water sonograms. And then the second way is to do what's called a hysteroscopy. So a saline ultrasound or a saline sonogram is where we do a regular ultrasound, but we actually infuse a little bit of saline into the cavity. That kind of takes the cavity that's normally stuck together and it opens it up and separates the left from the right or the top from the bottom. And then what we're able to do is with the ultrasound probe, take a three-dimensional image where we take multiple slices and sweep through the entire uterus. And we can see any kind of abnormalities in the cavity like polyps or fibroids or even sometimes scar tissue or septums. So that's the first way of looking at the cavity. The second way of looking at the cavity is just with our direct eyes. So we use a small camera called a hysteroscope. We put the camera through the cervix and this can be done either awake or asleep. And we actually look with our own eyes and we look for those abnormalities that I mentioned before. The advantage of a hysteroscopy is if we do find something, we can usually fix it right then and there and get your cavity back to a pristine condition. All right, hope you learned a little bit about uterine cavity evaluation today, and we'll see you back in the office soon.